Check, check. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I am here with some more GTA 5. Although we finished the main story, there's a couple of things that I want to just check out for myself. Um, one of them being the Epsilon missions. So today's goal is to finish them with Michael. Um, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> You guys are saying a lot of mixed things about it, and I feel like you're trying to torture me now. Um, because I guess there's a lot to this program, a lot more than I thought. But if I play it the right way, I'll get some shmoney out of it. So I hope you're right. <laughs> Before we go on, though, um, I got an email from Dave that I wanted to read with you guys, and then we'll have Michael respond. Um, he says, bye. Well, my friend, we did it. Please, for the love of all that is holy, stay out of trouble. By the way, don't know if you heard, but I just signed on to be the new host of Underbelly of Paradise. It's a great shame about my colleague Steve. We'll really miss him and his horrible outfits. But at least some good came out of his terrible death. I finally got something for my pension. I hope we don't meet again. For your sake, I hope we don't too. Good luck. I will try to be good. Will we, though? Will we? Um, because now... Hey, your dad's <laughs> now back. instead, it seems like we're about to become Scientologists, so... <laughs> um, I don't know, man. I'm gonna go ahead and just fast travel, um, to... the next Epsilon mission, because it's a little bit up north again. Yeah, I need a cab as soon as you can. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. All right, thanks. thanks. Oh, what are they building over there? They're building another house? <gasps> Whoa. I never noticed this. Oh, you can't really see it here. Yeah. Has it been there the whole time? Damn. There we are. I was thinking he wasn't going to show up. The last Epsilon mission we did, in case if you missed it, was collecting all of the cars that they were requesting and then we dropped it off into someone's house in their garage. It's still flashing blue. Imagine if the answer to everything was hidden in this bush. Or the answer to nothing because that is the answer to which there is no question. Uh, yeah? <laughs> Hello, Zondar. Kiflam. Hi, or, uh, Kiflam. Marnie. <laughs> Wait, I thought my name was Zolak. Right. That's yes, because everything you have ever thought is wrong, Zondar. Do you know top actor, philosopher, and environmental activist, Jimmy Boston? What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Kiflam. Right. Yeah. Kiflam. <laughs> Welcome to the truth. Your thoughts are probably very confused. Chris is clear about this. Yeah, you're neither thesis nor antithesis. You're nothing, Zondar, nothing. Oh. I've become a thesis, bro, in record time. So Chris said I could hunt for extraterrestrials out here using this incredible meter. This is science the authorities try to suppress. <laughs> well, Zondar, now you can meet your people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kiflam. 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 This area is a confirmed hotspot for extraterrestrial activity, bro. The device should light up blue when it finds a signal. Okay. Proximity meter shows how far away the artifact is. Oh. When facing toward the artifact, the detector screen will turn blue. Here? We're getting close. <gasps> oh, man. Okay. We're 100% getting closer. Where did you find closer. this guy? You don't gotta know that. That seems like a personal question. Oh shoot, we got further away from it. Hey, whoa, center yourself, bro. Here. Wait. Do I need to go? Oh, I need to go more. It needs to be all the way up. This way. Okay, yeah. I think the meter needs to be all the way up. Ah, shit. Um, you got a good signal there. Don't lose it. I'm not. I'm not. I lost it. <laughs> this way? Uh, 
That's it. Let the spirit guide you. Spirit's definitely guiding Whoa. me. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? Wh what's going on? Oh yeah, you're feeling it, aren't you? The truth of a thousand galaxies. Right. Or a weirdly vibrating flashlight. <laughs> Literally. Blue light. You're a go, brother, brother. Here. It's this TV. Oh, oh, oh hey. <laughs> This? It? I don't know. Shukuku car. Shukuku is this car. It? There's doubt in your mind. You're an antithesis, and the metaverse will not reveal its secret. So true. Guess we keep looking, bro. Can't have any doubts. Do not despair, Zondar. You just need to try harder to rid your mind of ignorance. That's all. Yeah, whatever you say, man. The meter only responds to your inner god, which must be set free to soar through the paradigms. Let it reverberate through your major organs. Resonate with your whole. Okay, wait, it's blue. But it's not, like, lighting up. Like, you know? You know. Well, I'm just gonna go in, go in this way. I Yeah, there we go. See? It is leading you to the great truth. I can feel it. Um, I like to think that the that the top part of this radar Let the is light like of this paradigm shine forth. A really cool Be bird a god form. flapping away. And if it goes fast enough, I can fly away with it. <laughs> Yes, Krant, Krant, show Zondar the way. Please, Krant, you must, you must show me the way. I have hope, and I don't want to lose it. <laughs> We're getting there. We got two more bars. The device is really starting to connect with you now. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. This is oddly peaceful. <laughs> um, definitely a change of pace. Give your all to the meter. Don't stop now. I'm not. I've got one more bar, man. I think I'm close. The Emperor has chosen you. A billion destinies in one. Sondar will be praised in the hey, next I found it. time. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I got it. So this is it. Right? Do you doubt the truth? Do you? I doubt that you don't doubt. Now I'm doubting. Right. And the search must continue. <laughs> Girl, you're just confusing. Of course I'm gonna doubt. Hey, Marnie? Shupar? Shupar? Shupar, please. This is ridiculous. Like, I don't have anything better to do. Well, I heard that. You're being an antithesis again. Do you have anything better to do? Well, you are a whole movie producer now. You would think you have something better to do. Yeah, it's gonna be with those people, isn't it? I'm gonna climb up real quick. No, I guess it's past them. What are you- Hello? What are you in and why? <laughs> Um Of course. <gasps> anyway. All right, I got him out. He's not stuck anymore. I saved him. And he didn't even say thank you. There we are. This has got to be the last one, right? Well, there's a lot of things here. Which one is it gonna be? Okay. Come on then, little flashing box. Reveal the great truth to me. Oh, this way? Oh, it's a boot! I'm this like, I don't it. see anything! I am 110% unequivocally positive this is it. Then you understand, Zondar. I understand that this is fucking it. Good. Then you know what it costs. <laughs> Five grand. Ten. Whatever. Kiflum. Ten grand. 
Just because I'm a big time movie producer now, you think I'm gonna wanna give you 10 grand? God damn it. <laughs> Use the force? What does that even mean? What did I not do? At least we got Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy Boston, is that what his name was? Jimmy Boston? That's kind of awkward because our son's name is Jimmy. I can't have two Jimmys on my phone. I gotta change Jimmy's contact to Jizzle. So then I don't get confused. I don't care if the second Jimmy has Jimmy Boston. <laughs> well, I don't really know how much time needs to pass. In order to... Oh! We got the email. Look at me, I was being too impatient. Psh. Don't mind if I do, I'll donate! You're welcome. That better have worked. Goodbye. I did it twice, I think. So... Do I... Ooh. I could go home and sleep to like pass the time if I wanted. Oh, I don't want to call Devin. I mean, he's dead. So that'd be a little awkward. Hi. Can I get a cab? On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. Oh, I kind of want to fly the plane maybe. Actually. Should I? And I'm fly at home. Stop! I'm coming after you! I'm coming! I'm stealing it! Although I don't know how I'm gonna fly up. Because I think you need... To like really... He's gonna beat me up! How are you gonna beat me up? I'm already in the plane. I'm already in the plane. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Ass face. Ass face. Alrighty, I'm gonna lift. I'm gonna lift. Donald Percival, my friends, we haven't met, but both of you and your buddies... It's not lifting! It's not lifting! <laughs> okay, that failed miserably. Oh, Dave! Hello! Michael! Davey! Are you behaving yourself? Oh, but of course. And how Stole a plane, kids? but... They're good. I actually mean that. Amanda, too. How's work? Work? Ah, it's fine. Better than fine. It's good. Had a few lucky breaks. Look after yourself, Mike. You too, Davey. You too. Wow. Sweet. He wanted to check in on me. What a kind, kind man. Alright, we made it into the city and Michael's house is coming up and I don't really know where to land this. So, I think I'm going to try and land it on the street here. <laughs> See about this emergency landing that I've learned how to do because I'm just so good at it see emergency landing I did it <laughs> and I'm not that far away from the house what's going on with Michael's hair that's not the hair I have for him Big Daddy in the house! Um, I think it's funny because- Oh, Meltdown! He has the movie poster! And a bottle of champagne! Two bottles of champagne. I was gonna say, I don't really know what's happening to his hair because this is not the haircut I have for him. So I think it's kind of funny that it's- Something's happening. <laughs> he hated the haircut so much, he had to take care of it himself. Okay, there we are. We got it on the map. It took a few sleep cycles. But we got there. What are the pictures here now? They're different. Or maybe they're not. 
Oh, those are maybe someone's parents. Their wedding picture is so cute. Okay. Um. Anyone home? No one's home. Well, I'm going to go. I never noticed that. Why did it take me until now to notice? That their ceiling does that. That looks so nice. Oh my god, guys! What is happening with his face? Okay, it was just the highlight. It, or the shadow, the light. I'm confused. Oh nice, the next mission? Not that far away, so we can just head on over there. And have a good old grand time. Whoa! As much as I would love to listen to the radio, I really can't, sadly. I just can't. Um, I have a lot of GTA songs saved on my phone now on Spotify because I can't listen to it when I'm recording. So I listen to it when I'm driving in real life. <laughs> and it's great. Shit. Like, why would you guys stop in the middle of the road like that? Not my fault. Someone stopped in my way. I had to resort to the sidewalk. I'm sorry. <laughs> now I'm resorting to the sidewalk on purpose. Aye. Um, They're in the alleyway, I think. She's in the alleyway. Oh, God. feel so connected. The wonder of all crafts creation, Kiflam. I am everything I need and less and more. Confront who you are. Confront who Focus you are, okay. on what happened before your birth. Remember what Chris taught you. Be here and 34,730 <laughs> other places. So specific. Unknow what you know. This is not a wall. It's a flamingo, a plum, a tiny drummer boy with a limp. What? Kiflon. We are all dead and we are all Okay, what does it say? Dream the impossible, a dream of a planet of fire and a dinosaur with a saddle. If not for me, who am I? Spaceship Earth, the overpopulation means a uh, breakdown of order. The fruit tree is a lie. Okay. Fruit tree lies with the drawing of a dinosaur with the saddle. <laughs> I'm about to get that dinosaur with the saddle tattooed. Hello, Zondar. <laughs> <gasps> Are you ready? For what? It is today and the tracks can be written. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe that you got wrapped up in this bullshit. Seriously. You seem like a nice girl. <laughs> Objectionable antitheses are worse than idiots on a sinking ship. The literature makes that very clear. Yeah, well, does the literature make clear that you need help? I have help. I know the truth. If you want to know me, agree to pay your dues and wear pale blue attire for the next 10 days. Oh, what? You get the attire off the website. It's very reasonable, right? What? Are you even... Capable of listening, Zondar. Kiflum. I have to wear the suit for ten days. Ten in game days. <laughs> what? Robe instructions. Kiflam, Zondar, in order to prove yourself to our great leader, Chris, you will need to purchase a set of robes at minimal cost from our online store and wear them for 10 days. Visit the store at EpsilonProgram.com to get started. We look forward to seeing you on the other side. <gasps> Welcome to the Epsilon Program. 25 grand? Jesus. What? Craft. They're robbing me. He said craft. <laughs> Welcome to the Epsilon Program, brother, brother! The Epsilon Program provides you with the technology to take control of your existence in this life, the next, and ones in between. As you progress through an ever-changing series of theoretical, metaphysical, and practical exercises designed to challenge structure, 
confuse and withhold knowledge until the student is ready for it, you will scale the tangent to become a thesis of truth, a level of absolute understanding and spiritual enlightenment in which anything and nothing is possible and everything costs. You have it in you to be happy, but are surrounded by people that you must let go. Your capabilities are endless, but they are limited by your incapability. Reach into your pocket, hold a credit card in the air and say, is this <laughs> holding me back? This piece of plastic in my plastic life? Do you see that eagle? That's a good point. Keep looking at it. Imbue the simplicity. Now, not see it. It's still there. An eagle flies, but can it fly underwater? A man cannot live underwater, and neither can his mortgage. But if he has tax-exempt status after starting a religion, he has the eyes <laughs> of an eagle. Do you know what these are? Life analogies. Fruit trees. You will know why soon. Think of your family and loved ones. Now forget them. They're dead to you. Oh my. They're unsavables who deny your divine right to enlightenment. We are all from the same tree. But once you spill your seed, turn over and go to sleep. Or tell her to leave. What do you see here? Potential. Generosity. Manifest generosity, and through generosity, all things come to pass, including multiple women. Yes. Yes, now we are getting somewhere. You think so? What color is this? That's red. No, it's blue. No, it's not. Unlimit your limitations. <laughs> Don't embrace doubt. Doubters never succeed. Oh, they call me doubting. Or entrepreneurs. Famous people never doubt anything. You aren't learning anything because you know it all already. To understand completely is to be complete. That is the central maxim of our knowledge. And knowledge requires no faith. Just as you understand your hunger, the ache in your loins, or the simplicity of paying in installments to understand more about life. Are you ready? Are you ready to understand? I am Chris Formage. Chris! Are you ready to greet your Chris! ancestors, receive an egg from them, and form yourself out of it? Are you ready to lie with multiple partners at once? Look down at your nakedness. You are ready. Kiflam, you have understood the technology of our existence. Honestly, I really think Michael would like that. You're not even, you're not wrong. Kiflam, you have taken the first step on a long and expensive path to unlocking the secrets of existence. Welcome, brother, brother. We'll see you at the center. You are nearly ready. Right, that's it. Click to start. You have it in you to be oh, happy. I already did but this. Are surrounded by people that Okay, you wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, what do I do now? Did I... Get the rope? Did I get the rope? Oh, click here to purchase. My bad. Congratulations on scaling the tangent this far. Now you can literally wear your beliefs on your sleeve with the official Epsilon rope set. You'll look great through this a paradigm and the next. As Epsilonists, we know that religious attire and fashion don't have to be mutually exclusive. That's why we teamed up with Fuggy and top designer Sebastian Dix, who is himself a highly successful Ep Epsilonist and pretty much one of the best theses around to create a truly timeless and tasteful look worthy of the newfound understanding you have for your internal self. Made of comfortable, lightweight, breathable scientific fabric, the Epsilon robes are easy care, non-wrinkle, and quick access. They go on as quickly as they come off in case it's time to do your duty. It's power dressing day wear and comfortable nightwear rolled into one. It's a medieval night meets 80s glam rock meets white trash leisure suit. Yes, that's three great eras of fashion history and one effortless look. Just one. It sends a message that you're part of a spiritual elite yet still in touch with the unsavable common man. Make the ultimate fashion and religious statement today for one bargain, non-refundable payment of $25,000. What price salvation? What price looking good for eternity? Looks like I have no choice! Man, I love the internet. <laughs> 
<laughs> Man, I love Epsilon. Kiflom. <laughs> Order confirmation. Allow 24 hours for delivery? So you're telling me I gotta wait a full day to even get it, and then I have to wear it for 10 days? Also, why is our phone looking like that? Are we okay? Do we have too much, um... Epsilon energy now? <laughs> We're gonna go home. And we are gonna sleep a lot. We're gonna sleep so much. And it's gonna be great, and Michael's never gonna have to sleep ever again. <laughs> Just so we can get our robes. And we can say we wore it for 10 days. That's my plan to make things simple. <laughs> oh god. You know what I should do though? I should actually deck out his car. Here, we have so much time on our hands. Before we go to sleep, I'm gonna deck out the car. <laughs> so what I want. Whoa! Shit! Shit! We have all this money and we might as well use it. Or else what's the point? Aw, oh, fuck. My bad. I'm not great with the turns. Ooh, hello, green car. What can the best mechanic in LA do What's like a good look for this car though? Like black, I feel like looks good already. Like it's just so sleek. I already have raised brakes on it. Ah, we could, oh, that looks so odd. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, I might get it. Oh. I'll upgrade that. The grill. A sports grill. I mean, the sports one does look nice. We want it to look sporty, right? Why not? Oh, yeah, I do like the hood that we have on it already. I forgot I did that. Oh, and I do like the horn that we have. Jimmy's a real one for doing that and giving us these rims. I actually like it. I don't know. All right, you know what we gotta do? Well, first of all, um, before I do any other color changing, let's see, oh my God, make it a chrome car. Oh. Ooh, it could be like black in the middle and then we could do like something outside of it. I think that would be dope. I don't know, I like the cast iron silver, not even gonna lie. To make it pink, we can be matching with Amanda's car. Ooh, this green's really nice. Y'all, I just love green too much. Sadly, it's just not really fitting for this car, I don't think. It could work, actually, maybe. Could it? Could it? It could. I'm gonna say it could. It's the back that looks weird. I think you could change the secondary color, though, can't you? So we could just make it like a solid olive green. Is that lame? Cause I honestly really like it. And I think I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. If I can't have a green car like this in real life, I'm doing it in the game <laughs> to make myself feel better. Um, I will do the carbon roof. That looks nice. Skirts, we do have a sports skirt on it already. Ooh, spoilers, yes. Should we get like a black one to match the black roof? I think that could be cool. Suspension. Oh, oh. I like I like the last one. Have it all low. Try not to take flight. Try not to take flight. I will. Let's try. <laughs> Okay, should we? I don't know. I mean, I'm not disappointed with the, uh, the dollar signs. You can change the wheel color? Holy shit! 
I kind of like the white. Or does it ruin it? <laughs> I kind of like the white. I'm getting white. <gasps> Whoa! Or we could have gotten white tires. Oh man. No, I like the black tires. Because I feel like if I were to get the white tires, I would change the rims back to black. But I don't really think it's worth it. Or is it? <laughs> No, it's okay. Black tire smoke? How do I know what any of these look like? Patriot? Whoa. I'll change it to black. We gotta give him the limo tint. Is that it? Let me go back to tires. Again, where is it? Where am I? Oh, we can do the plate. We should change the plate. To that oh yeah because we need bulletproof tires all right what do we like with the green the red looks cool is it too Christmassy though you know purple black light I'll go with the black light there we go and it's nighttime. <laughs> Let's see about the tire smoke. Black tire smoke. It just looks like my car is freaking burning. <laughs> like literally. Yay, I finally did Michael's car. <laughs> I did it a little late, but uh, it's here. I did it. I'm putting it in the garage for safekeeping. Oh, family. <laughs> I'm home. He's home. I'm going to bed. So if you guys don't hear from me. Oh, hey. <laughs> or maybe we can watch stuff. Well, actually, I really kind of wanted to just sit with the. She's not even there anymore. What? All right, I am going to sleep. Oh my god, someone just crashed. That's unfortunate. Sleep. Sleep, sleep. Can I remember how long is Michael usually asleep for? Is it eight hours? I'm about to look this up. It's six hours. Franklin is eight hours and Trevor is 12 hours, apparently. Michael, why are you sleeping for six hours? Are you okay, buddy? Okay, how do we not have it yet? Are we sure we don't have it yet? Whoa, we get the prologue outfit? I did not freaking know that. <gasps> Whoa! I haven't looked in his closet in a long time. We can get all, like, the big mission outfits. I can do the highway patrol, scuba land, security. A stealth outfit, exterminator. I have the janitor outfit. Here we are. Order delivered. Official Epsilonian robes pajama set. Okay, so is it just in my closet now? Maybe? We're about to find out. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, he looks ridiculous! I wore the robe for 10 days! I can't. We're sleeping more. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I'm on the fifth time of doing this. We have many more to go. But I wanted to share with you guys <laughs> that I'm going on vacation. And I haven't had a vacation of, in a very, very, very long time. Um, well, not that long. I, it, I don't know. It was like two years ago, I think. Um, I had a trip up over in Gatlinburg. And it was pretty fun. Um, but this time I'm going on a cruise and it's my first ever cruise and I'm so excited. Um, and it's going to be a really short one though. We're only going for three days and the first day we're not getting on until like six ish PM. So, um, you know, 
technically i guess it's just like one full day and then a day and a half i guess because then our last day um we're getting off at like seven in the morning so it's like you can't really do anything then maybe have breakfast if it's available early enough but that's about it um but i'm really excited um and that's it gonna be really fun it ain't a cult it ain't <laughs> I feel like he's actually alive and he's like, this girl is making me go to sleep so many times for a cult. For a cult. This might be the last one, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. One more. Just kidding. One more. <laughs> I thought I was on the fourth one. You have to do four sleep cycles per day, which means I've done this 40 times. <laughs> to get to day 10 the commitment the commitment i swear so do i need to like do one more cycle like do we need to okay no we're fine we're fine i was like do we need to make it like day 11 you know kiflam your robes clothe the nakedness of spectral ignorance we have been following your progress with great interest you shall be summoned oh my god chris yay the chris <laughs> the chris Oh my god, okay. Well. Anyway. Thank you for that. I'm, uh... What now? <laughs> What's gonna happen? Dude, if the family sees me wearing this, what are they gonna say? Or are, are they gonna say anything? I mean... I don't even think anyone's ever home. <laughs> To be able to say anything. Chris, you said I'm being summoned and I don't know where because nothing's happening. How interesting. Are you telling me you lied? You're a leader who lies. I might have to rethink my membership here. Jimmy Boston. Hey, Zondar, we need your help retrieving one of our sacred vessels. Head out towards the coast near the military base. A fellow acolyte will meet you there. Let me get him my car. That is now in the middle of the driveway. <laughs> in the most awkward position. Look at my tire marks. I'm actually gonna take another taxi there. I wanna know why my phone looks like that. It's so, um. I need a cab as soon as you can. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Thanks. It's like so overexposed. It looks like it's glowing, literally glowing. I don't know how to feel about that. <gasps> it's a plane. <gasps> I love flying. And it's raining. Oh my. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, Zondar, I knew you'd come. I of was course. told to come. Chris needs you to take this plane to initiate Boston. He awaits you in the east. Okay, detailed as ever. Truth must be revealed gradually until you're capable of understanding it. Okay. Goodbye. I love how they just trust me to fly this plane right now. I could be like the worst freaking pilot. I'm not great, but I'm not good. And you're just having me fly this plane. <laughs> Look at how patient this taxi driver is. Thanks, sir. Whoa! Okay. Can you, like, go around? Can you go around? Why are we having so much issue going around, buddy? There you go. Now you don't have a top. How does that make you feel? Violated, I hope. <laughs> okay, that was a little mean. Sorry. Let's not fly over the military base. That would, uh, be kind of wild. Why did we meet by the military base? That's a little, it's a little crazy. My eternal brother, brother, you get the secret plane from the secret location? Yeah, I'm Is in it the so top secret baby blue plane. Where am I heading? Unknow it and you'll know. Look, can you just know it for me so we can move this thing along? Okay, but that's entry level stuff, bro. Sandy Shores Airfield. I'll meet you there. Kiflam. 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 I like the music, though. The Epsilon music. Look at 
look at how peaceful. I don't know why, but the rain is making this so much better. Sometimes all you need is a little bit of the gloomy weather. And it can just make everything. My guess is that we're getting close. This plane's not very fast, and I'm not good at gauging distance. Oh yeah, no, we're like right there. I think. I never put my, uh... Yeah, I forgot you can kind of do that. <laughs> put your wheels down. Alrighty. It looks like no one's really here. <laughs> What's going on? Jimmy, you're hiding. That's why. And you're not even wearing the robes. Why am I the only one wearing the robes? Whoa, that car's so nice. It's so dirty, though. But it's so nice. I'm jelly. When can I get one of those? Got the money? Get flum. Cool. In the plane? Get flum. <laughs> Kiflum. Nice. Kiflum. We're almost the thesis of truth, bro. Kiflum. Nearly there. It should cost a little time and effort, and then it's astro planes in 37,000 places all at once. I can't wait for that. And the chicks. Oh! <laughs> you know, Chris and I sometimes watch porn together in the mood. Oh! Just to prove we don't get turned on. Pretty awesome. Anyway, Kiflum, man. Laters. Kipa. Oh! Chris says, if you're ready, there's a tree of truth. I and thought we didn't like mad, trees. But it's kind of expensive <laughs> to reach this level of existence. Of course it is. You need quite a bit of money. Of course. Someone to mail you, bro. Mind if I take the plane? Mind if I take the car? Um, because I want it. If it's still there. Hell yeah, it is. Might as well. If I'm part of this, I'm fucking... I'm, I'm, I'm taking it. That's all. That's all. Hopefully it'll be less dirty later, because that's a little sad. <laughs> Even the car looks sad. It looks like the car is crying. Okay, so... I don't know. I need to get home. Let's get home with my brand new car. Man, I'm failing these miserably. Zondar the bridge. I'm guessing maybe if we flew under the bridge or something. Touchdown. I don't know, maybe if I actually landed properly. <laughs> Just guesses from the way that the achievements are named. I don't know. This drive's kind of nice, too. I'm not even disappointed. Damn. Sometimes, yeah, see, literally, this is all I need. All I needed was a peaceful drive in the rain to make my day 20 times better. That's all. Shit. Woo, okay. Wrong turn, but we'll go this way and then we'll go right. We are drifting kind of crazy because of this rain. Yay, I got a new car! No, someone just called me a loser. You just wish you were me and you're jealous because I have this awesome baby blue car and baby blue robes. That's all.
Huh? Who said that? <laughs> Jimmy, loser. Oh, there she is. I'm like, where's the maid? I love you, son. Whatever you say, dad. Why am I only talking to Jimmy? <laughs> Jimbo. Actually, it's Jizzle. <laughs> Why am I only talking to Jimmy? Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Dad. Hey, son. Hey, Pop. <laughs> James. Father. Jimmy. Loser. Okay, I can only talk to him. No one else wants to talk to their dad. Or husband. That's fine. I see where the priorities lie. I'll drink some whiskey to make myself feel better then. That was really nice, kids. Thanks, Mom. You're totally the best takeout orderer I know. Yeah, I mean, normally, I want to, like, order everything. But you just order the best things and lots of them, which is cool. It's so cool. All right, I'm not going to drink drink. Psh. Or should I drink drink? Maybe I should drink drink. What have you been up to? Jimmy's trying and failing to get fit. <laughs> yeah, and I should only be really protein loading right now, but this is an exception. <laughs> the pizza is an exception, Jimmy. Pizza's always an exception, so I guess you're right. Okay, it is a new day, and we have the next Epsilon mission readily available now, which is over by the airfield again. So let's see what that is all about. Um, okay, I'm gonna go down. I guess I'll fast travel again. Can I talk to the maid? Mrs. Amanda, give me pill. She say it make me clean quicker. Um, did you ask what kind of pill? Hey, Ava, you're doing a great job. <laughs> you okay, Ava? Hey, Ava, keep doing what you're doing. Okay, now she's like too tweaked to hey, even Ava, say anything back. Keep working hard. I love it. There's still- how long are you guys gonna be- Jimmy! <laughs> loser! How long are you guys gonna be sitting there for? Um, I've slept so long. And you're still on the... Eating pizza train. I don't know if I should be impressed or concerned. Okay, buddy. There you go. It was only $59 this time. Oh. Hello, trailer. Kiflam! Kiflam. Come on, you've discovered great things. Kiflam, brother, father, you now know we're not alone. And you've discovered the importance of higher beings, celebrities, like me. There's people to worship and guide you to truth. Here, this is your medal. <gasps> I get a medal! <laughs> so far. Yay! Chris is very happy with you. Indeed I am happy, Zondar. You have achieved great things. But it is as a blink of the eye. Unless you achieve more, you shall not survive the apocalypse. Chris has spoken. Kiflam. Kiflam. Zondar, you're nearly a true thesis. Your antithesis is almost quelled. Oh, I'm so great! I'm very reasonably priced, too. Mm. Yeah, you guys well, keep saying antithesis. that. It's easy. Just bring a small donation to Chris at the Epsilon Center in the city. But first, you must wear your medal. And your attire, and run five miles through the desert. Uh. Kiflam. How long Kiflam. is that gonna take me? As they drive away with their truck. Okay, you're just rubbing it in my face now. Thank you for that. Can I stay on the roads? Does that count? Okay, I'm now inside the Epsilonism pilgrimage zone. I wander five miles through the desert wearing Epsilon robes. Well, if that's the case, if I'm just gonna be wandering this whole time, I'm watching Netflix. Previously on Gray's Anatomy. Surgical training protocol is officially changing. <laughs> Brother, father, son, Kiflam. Who's this? The divine truth, Chris Formage. I fought many mythical beasts in <gasps> that desert me. in my previous lives. You are very near to quelling your antithesis. I've been following your progress very closely. You have? 
I'm everywhere all at once. One more mile, and you will have arrived at where you are. Thank God. Make me proud, Zondar. Craft be praised. This has been a process. I've just been going back and forth on this same strip of road. Give up. Give up. <laughs> While Michael slowly loses his mind. But we're almost there. And I couldn't be happier. It's about damn time, man. Look at us. We're, we're running in the middle of the night now. What time even is it? Oh my god. Yeah, in the middle of the night. <laughs> Five miles walk to the desert! It's complete! <laughs> Thank god, now what? Someone call me, please. Thanks, Chris. Am I finished? No. Your journey is just beginning. Ah. Have you cast off the cane? Have you observed your inefficiencies? I guess so. Then they no longer exist. You are ready. Look at all my ready footsteps! To make another investment in yourself. Bring a generous tithe to the center in Vinewood, and I will personally receive you. Um, that sounds really scary. Guys, look at this shit. This trail looks ridiculous from the amount of running I've been doing. This is insane. <sighs> that is an experience I just don't know how to feel about. Honestly, okay, I'm gonna be honest, I thought it was gonna be worse. I thought it was gonna be worse and it wasn't, so I can't complain too bad. I can't complain too bad. It still took me forever. Oh fuck! No, I'm stuck on a tire! It looks like I'm stuck on nothing, but I think it's the tire. Well, great. <laughs> this game actually loves to torture me. Like, actually loves to torture me! I just fast traveled to my home because of my, or, well, not mine. I stole the car, but uh, I got stuck on nothing. <laughs> so. Hey, your dad's back! Dad's back. Is anyone home? Oh, Tracy's sleeping. That's a little awkward. I'm sorry. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. That's kind of scary. Jimmy! What are you doing? Are you... Are you getting sick? Hey, son. Hey, Bob. <sighs> Why don't you go to a bathroom? Or are you just squatting? I, I'm i not even going to question it anymore. <laughs> I'm just so bothered. Aww. I'm going to go to bed too. So cute. Is she going to be like sleeping the whole time as well? Well, we got our next mission up, actually. Oh, and it's like right there. We could walk. Michael probably doesn't want to walk or run ever again. <laughs> Honestly, he's he was built for it though. He's fit. What's the best way to go? I'll go this way first. Whoa. Turn left. Okay. Kiflam. Kiflam! Damn! I did not know they had like a whole building. Holy shit. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, Zondar. I'm so happy to see that you understand everything. Well, I know nothing, Chris, with no H. Well, then you know everything. <laughs> Kiflam. Chris with no age. Kiflam. The tract is being written. We're writing the tract together. Together. I'm writing the tract here. Do you have the cash? Yes. Yes, I do. Today, I was speaking with Carpetan in the Paradigm 4. 
and he said that we should deliver some of the apocalypse funds to the Cayman Islands. Ah, Kiflam. Then you and I <laughs> can write the tract. Kiflam. Zondar, tell me, have you reached my paradigm? Kiflam. Now, are you ready <laughs> to write the tract? Kiflam. Just make sure to deliver this big bale of cash to my helicopter. Oh, and I'm sure you'll be pleased to know Kraft is very impressed with your progress. Ah. Kifla. I'm just imagining Michael not being able to speak normally again and his whole vocabulary is just Kiflam. Zildor? Ah, yes, brother. I see you. Excellent. Ah, How much and money the... is in here anyway? Why would that concern you? Any amount is insignificant when weighed against the value of absolute understanding. And what if I want to steal it? You know Michael wants to steal it. That's exactly why he's asking. Michael DeSanta is? He's a goddamn criminal! You guys fell for it! <laughs> Good luck, Zildor. Good fucking luck. You won't get me. No matter how much you try, it's not happening. Good luck. <laughs> Two million dollars. Show me the money. Oh my god. And with that, we can easily say we fucking finished. You fucking traitor. <laughs> After all we've done for you, you didn't do anything. Consider your enlightenment revoked, you Fine. son of a bitch. And you could consider this my refund. Don't you realize how powerful I am? I make or break Vinewood careers. I will destroy you. Gotta go, brother, brother. Kithlam. You are unsavable. You will be the fertilizer of the tenth paradigm. That's what happens when you have some random dude drive a car filled with the two million dollars. Don't really know what all you wanted <laughs> from that. <laughs> oh my god. Well guys, we finished. And I'm I'm proud of us. I really am. So with that, thank you for joining me today. We have officially finished all of the Epsilon missions and I took your guys' advice and kind of figured it out on my own that yeah. Michael is meant to steal the money. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, if you did enjoy watching, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the post notification bell to stay up to date on all of my uploads here on my Let's Play channel. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.